Hey guys, it's Bradley. Welcome back to my channel, Portly Gentleman. On my channel, I do all sort of home brewing stuff, a lot of brew tool stuff. So if you like the sound of that, please, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, it really helps me out. Uh, I don't know, it's great. You gotta subscribe. It's just how YouTube works. You don't really have to, but I do appreciate you stopping in. I am truly humbled. Thank so in today's you. video, we're gonna talk about my initial impressions of the new uh, Brew Tools filter bottom. Full disclosure, I've only used this bottom for about two brews. Well, exactly two brews. So I can't say that my opinion is fully um, above reproach. I've definitely used it twice and I, I've seen differences. Truth be told, the old screens, they really didn't give me that much problems. Was always able to make them work and they worked pretty well for me. But the new one is definitely different. We'll say that. Uh, Brew Tools had some new fittings drop. Uh, they have a couple of these uh, little guys here. That was, that was creepy. Um, this is a, a 19 millimeter hose barb with half inch um, uh, British standard pipe thread R, but it uses an O-ring inside to seal. And basically what that'll do is you could use this for a half inch MPT too. Um, and you won't have a ton of, you don't need hardly any threads, no thread tape. It's super slick. They also made one with a, uh, uh, you know, with just a three, 34 millimeter tri-clamp. If you guys are coming out of a valve from your uh, HLT, this piece might be a must have. I tried to use it on my Y strainer I've been using for a while, but it was, it was too short. That, that's just a story of my life. Next up, we have the recirculation fittings. And these work in all the new systems. And if you have the upgraded uh, steam hat and uh, mashing assembly, they use the same O-ring. They, <clears throat> they have one with 19 millimeter hose barb. They have one in 10. It's pretty tiny, but it's probably pretty useful. And they have another one, uh, same seal inside, in half inch uh, NPT. Just think lock line. So before we get into my, all my thoughts on the new filter bottom. First thing first, you guys, I've been using a Y strainer inline for quite a while just to make sure I get any grain sediment out. Uh, I know there's some opinions out there that you can leave it, and I'm sure you can. I know I've left it before. Not to say you can't get it all out through um, running, uh, running over the grain bed and filtering that way. That's what the idea is. I've just found that this is a little added, added kind of uh, polishing almost on the wart. I like the way it looks. Um, it makes for good photos on Instagram when the wart's super clear and there's nothing in it. So I do have, hopefully I got it recorded, uh, some footage of, uh, of what came out of that filter. And we'll show that in a minute. So here it is. And this thing, it is just a jewel, guys. This finish, uh, this kind of, uh, I think it's like shot blasted, basically sandblasted, but with uh, like iron shot or something like that. It's a super nice finish, smooth, still shiny. It just, it looks good. When I first unboxed this, I was like, man, this is, this is nice. It's a heavy piece, you know, it's not gonna deflect very much. It has uh, the solid bits here in the middle are gonna stop it from deflecting. So definitely solid. I will say when you go to put this in your your mash ton, if you just drop it in there, it's, it's gonna splash the hell out of you. Trust me. Um, splash isn't bad, but when you got like, you know, expensive cameras like right in front of it, so, you, you know, so when you're doing it, be careful when you insert this guy. Um, big difference here between this and the old ones, I don't have an old one handy, but you know, the old one was solid holes, right? Solid holes, so it basically, you know, it had tons of surface area for everything, the water, the grain, everything to rush out of. This one, I don't know how much they've, re they've reduced the, uh, the surface area, the actual, the, the kind of the area that the water can pass through. Hoovid, if you're watching, man, tell me. I, I bet it's like 50% less. Am I wrong? Maybe more. Um, that has something to do with it. I think it, this filter is going to help you guys kind of set the grain bed a little bit better. Definitely... I noticed that, maybe it's just my crazy thinking, but it definitely kind of helped the grain bed set better instead of everything just running through it real quick and creating issues. So I started with the guy, this guy, 
dropped it in, I splashed myself, added my grains like usual. Um, I was in such a, so excited getting the shots and me adding the grains in. I uh, didn't put on the outer center pipe, put that on afterwards, wasn't an issue. This guy actually fits, uh, I think the tolerance is a little bit better on the center hole, so it fits good. One big bonus, this thing is so beefy and so heavy, it's not gonna move. So you can really stir the, uh, stir the mash aggressively and stir this plate super aggressive and you don't have to worry at all. It's, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna curl. Nothing's gonna happen, <laughs> trust me. Uh, don't drop this on your foot if you're wearing like sandals or it's gonna hurt you. <laughs> um, so basically I thoroughly stirred my mash. It's something I usually do towards the top. My new method will be top to bottom, it doesn't matter, just stir the hell out of it. So then I plugged in the new recirculation fitting hooked up to my manifold. The manifold is really, uh, I like it more than the mash hat personally. Uh, I've used manifold mash hat kind of, I've used many, many, uh, done many bashes either way. I decided I like it more. It's a little more controllable, I think, flow rate. You don't get that channeling and tunneling. Hopefully there's a uh, brew tools manifold coming out pretty soon, let's hope. So I got that going. You can see the manifold works great with this. The, the, the big benefit here is that, you know, this piece is gonna go, before you stick a hose on it, that works, but this piece you're gonna uh, be able to, you know, be able to uh, sparge with it as well. So it's gonna work like the, the mash hat does. It's designed to work, it has the necessary seals to work with the system, and it does. Uh, sparging with this was really good. Uh, my efficiency was definitely better, guys. Some people, may know it if you watch my videos. I'm not like a by the numbers, oh, I have to have all the efficiency kind of home brewer. I really care that my beer is good, that I have fun, and that people want more of it. That's not to say I don't pay attention to efficiency, but honestly, if I get 75%, great. I do like to kind of know where I'm gonna land, uh, just so I don't have too much ABV for something I'm doing. That's pleasant surprise, but you know, every now and then you'll make a Pilsner that's like 8%. It's, it's people get hammered, it's not good. So I really do kind of try to watch my efficiency somewhat, but honestly, grain is cheap, just add more. Speaking of grain, this whole uh, grain bill today was 50% wheat, 50% Pilsner, well, some other stuff. A lot of uh, Mecca Grade Estate malts, Grippa Pelton in that, Seth at Mecca Grade. If you guys haven't got their malt, definitely check it out. Uh, if you can't get it, Find a craft maltster near you and try their malt. It's gonna be better than the kind of giant maltsters of the world, the uh, Walmarts of malt. Uh, if you guys go to a little more artisan malt, you have a better product, I promise you. Um, if, if I'm wrong, send me a beer and uh, tell me you don't need it. <laughs> Started rinsing the grains with water through the manifold. Again, the manifold really helped me. Just rinse as slowly as I want. Um, some people have hand sparged. I've tried it. Didn't. I'm too lazy, uh, but this way it's very slowed and controlled. Gotta love it. So these recirculation fittings definitely work awesome. So now we flip over here and look in the bottom. You can see uh, there isn't much grain on the bottom of the mash tun. Normally that would have kind of, uh, it'd be lots of bits because the other one was just so porous. Like I think this one is 50% less porous. Who would someone brew tools tell me guys, appreciate it. So yeah, and that was that. Uh, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole brew day. It's a Hefeweizen. The wort tastes good. It, it just smells awesome. Uh, I'm looking forward to drinking it here in a couple of weeks, I hope. I don't wanna wait any longer, I'm running low on beer. So my final thoughts on this new uh, filter, I think it's worthwhile. I really think or hope that this would become standard. Obviously the system might have to get more expensive in some people when comparing it to other systems may say, oh my gosh, but this is a worthwhile piece, guys. It's gonna make everything simpler and better. It's not gonna solve, you know, massive issues. It's not gonna be like um, idiot proof. You know, you're still gonna have issues. There, there's a cutout here for, for something right here. Maybe uh, that will make the system, once that's utilized, something that's uh, just as user friendly as say a uh, grandfather or Brusilla. So. That's something to look forward to. Again, you'll have to have this piece, but the beauty is, you know, you can customize your brutal setup to your heart's desire, whether it's a custom light for your steam hat. If you haven't seen that video, watch it. Um, I love it. It's awesome. 
uh, but you can really do whatever you want. So like I said, I've only used this for two brew days, but my experience has been overwhelmingly positive and good. Efficiency increases. I need to recalculate or redo all my profiles. So that's something to look forward to, but definitely pick it up if you have time. Christmas is coming. I think if you get one thing, pick this up. Uh, the recirculation fittings are great if you're using a manifold. I really like them as well. And the other fittings that let you use, uh, instead of having Teflon tape, they come apart easy, hand tight, it seals. Those fittings are great too. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, I really, really appreciate everybody that watches and comments and subscribes. I'm truly humbled by it. Thank you so, so much. Remember, this has been Bradley. Home brewing is good, and I'll see you real, real soon.